Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Nerds of Rose channel here for a very brand new series uh, that's going to be quite different to all the content you've seen so far on this channel. And um, as you may have noticed from the whole, you know, Nerds of Rose title, um, you're kind of here for anything kind of nerdy and very deep divey into certain things like, you know, comics, wrestling, games, anything like that. Well, My hoodie, you know, for example. Exactly. Yeah, that, that that's quite nerdy as in and of itself. So, ner so Dave is, uh, is kindly ticking that box for us. But uh, you'd be shocked to hear that you can also be nerdy about sports. And uh, what other sport can we jump into than the uh, magical world of football, which is where the, uh, myself and Dave are coming in on this brand new uh, show that I've tentatively called Ball Nerds, which yeah. uh, is as about as general and as uh, euphemistic as I can make it without getting yeah. uh, too much into technicalities. Without getting banned, yeah. <clears throat> exactly. The algorithm and whatnot. Well, I'm, I'm trying to tickle the algorithm so that people looking for something very explicit ends up like finding a lot more about the 442 diamond that they were expecting. But yeah. um, but either way, um, so the whole point of this series is, as very much if you've ever seen any Football Manager content, is that essentially myself and Dave are going to do a uh, online co-op, online league, I should say. Um, Dave, being yeah. a more of a Football Manager aficionado than I am, is going to uh, obviously uh, help us out in terms of technicalities. But... What we're doing to make these things interesting, because this is a YouTube series after all, we can't just be uh, sitting here plodding along, uh, <laughs> sorting out ticket prices and sponsorships. We are setting challenges for ourselves. And yeah. um, so the first one we're doing here on this uh, edition of Balls Ner Ball Nerds is a championship run. So Dave, talk us through what the actual stipulation is for this uh, for this challenge. So the stipulation that we've set is that we have to pick two teams at random from the championship. Yeah. Um, and ultimately try and drive them towards promotion as mm -hmm. bad or as good as the team we get is. If one of us picks out Burnley, great, better chance. If one of us picks out Luton, not so much. But we have to try and get there regardless. So, yes, uh, you know, you look at FIFA career content and it is basically just playing, signing, this, that and the other. This is a bit more, as you said, nerdy as far as football goes because you have to mm. think about uh, your tactics you know, vehemently and go through what you want to do, where you want the players to play, what style of play you want them to play in. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and basically you can delegate as much as you want to your backroom staff. Like you can literally oh, have them do everything, you know, <laughs> while you just focus on your tactics, your players or whatever. And um, for me personally, I delegate almost everything to the relevant people. Like mm -hmm. I don't care who signs the medical staff. I don't do it. My technical director does. Um. As far as my other staff, like recruitment, my director of football hires them. You know, this is something yeah. that a manager doesn't normally do. So I just dedicate it out. They're delegated out to the relevant staff. And um, yeah. um, training is training is always managed by myself. Um, I've done a couple of saves where I've delegated it to uh, the assistant manager. You do have an automated training program yeah. depending on your tactics, obviously, but it's never gone down well when I've delegated it to an assistant manager or a coach. So I just I tend to leave that one as myself right that's, I your, that's your baby yeah, yeah. you know yeah, so yeah. that's kind of like yeah don't do that <laughs> because that can end very very badly well um, i think what i think what's going to come across is that we have two uh kind of different styles in that sense so i'm sure i'm sure that'll uh that'll become apparent as we start this series but yeah as you said the whole point of this first series first challenge if you will until uh gets right is for one of us to get promoted so whoever gets promoted first no matter how many seasons it takes um, is the winner of the competition. So that's the that's is we're keeping it quite simple for this one. And then obviously when we get to uh next later um challenges, they're gonna be a bit more uh complicated or just uh awkward, whichever way you want to do it. And obviously the winner of the challenge will set the next one yep. and we go from there. So uh so Dave, I'm gonna uh show you what I've been doing with my spare time. Okay. Um, hey. So here is a special little wheel we're going to spin. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, here we go. To decide who oh. uh, which team we get. So these are all 24 teams that are currently in the championship and as are obviously uh, stated in the game as well. So uh, it's quite a simple thing. We just uh, we'll take whichever one we have. Are we allowing vetoes or are we stuck with what we have, Dave? I'll, I'll let you decide on that one um, I'm going to go with challenge of if you land on a team, is that it? That's you your team. You cannot okay. move, that's your team. Unless... We haven't gotten to the parameters yet of if you get an offer. If you're doing well, it tends to happen you get an offer from a bigger club. However, mm -hmm. should that happen, it does kind of deviate where we go. If one's still in Championship, one's in Premier League. Are, are you be inclined to say you have good, to stick but... to that team? Yeah, I think you have yeah. to stick to that team yeah. one way or another, regardless of what you get. That's what uh, my thought would be. 
Yeah. So, so the quick, so the question is now, who spins the wheel first? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. I will go first. I will take the plunge if you spin okay. that, that wheel for me, Jonathan. All right. So oh, this is the side, Dave's team in this uh, championship run. Here we go. Push a promotion is. Swansea, Swansea All right. City. Okay, okay, that's, that is not a bad. That's not show. a bad draw. That's not a bad show. That's that's, that's fair. I'll yeah. take that. So I Swansea will sip City my water to... for that. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, it's right by the sea. So <laughs> but so for those unacquainted, Swansea City uh, formerly of the Premiership. In fact, one of the more kind of like contemporary uh, yeah. Premier League teams in in the past. Um, uh, a lot of kind of fan favorites like Michu and and uh, so forth. Uh, Ashley Williams when he was in his heyday, Michelle Vorm, a lot of those kind of like players that like played a really good style, got promoted for for pure honest football, really. But now um, I'm looking forward to working with Mr. Jonathan. No, Mr. Michael Obafemi. Michael Obafemi is the big one, yeah, I'm exactly. Looking yeah. That. And I'm looking it's a very to that. young team actually, because um, it there's is. also, it if is. I'm not mistaken, the very the fabulously named Ben Cabango, which he just makes <laughs> him sound like he's a fucking jackpot machine. So yeah. I think that's a good draw for you, uh, Dave. Actually, I think that's a that's a nice one. And um, yep. they're struggling in real life at the moment, but um, yeah. you never know with football manager algorithms. Young players Look, always do it doesn't matter goals, so. as long as they're playing with the latest winter update. Um, the thing mm. is, it can be. You know, it, it all depends on your style. You know, you may have players that you that'll come to you and moan about not getting game time. And you say, <laughs> sorry, I don't like you. I'm not going to play you. This is the beauty of like, you know, a lot of yeah. people, football managers are very niche kind of content. And I get why it is, it is quite niche. Mm. But what I love about it is that you can really dive into it and make this team your own. You know, players yes. will come to you, they'll complain. You can say, do you know what? No, go away. I'm not playing you. I don't like you. You're being sold in the next window. I'm going to bring in this guy. <laughs> who I like more, you can be an absolute dick about it. However, yeah. it's always tough because then you could get the whole team coming down on you saying, why are you treating him badly? Which has happened before. Yeah. If you, if you, if you pick on the king, if you pick on the, the, the king of the chessboard, like, yeah, you're, you're uh, kind of yeah, in. exactly. So, so anyway, so we know that Dave, you're happy with Swansea city. Anyway, I'm happy uh, with Swansea. I am happy to take that bullet because it's not the worst that could happen to be honest. That's true. So in that case, then I am going to spin the wheel and let's see what I get. Um, there's one team I absolutely do not want to get, but uh, because I don't want to say it out loud because I know for however, certain. However, however, if you if you draw Millwall, I believe that you have to have a hammer by your desk at every you know away game because you just How want to. How did you know that shit. was the one team I didn't want to get? This <laughs> Millwall. Okay. Uh, Millwall slags. <laughs> anyway, let's see That's what happens. The FA Cup. No, right, let's okay. do it. Spit it. Spit it. Oh, uh, I'm actually nervous for you. Oh, I got Millwall! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I fucking knew that it. That is absolutely the fantastic. It, the moment I fucking said it, I knew it was going to happen. Oh, oh, God. Yes, Jonathan, yes. Oh, God, I'm, I'm actually I'm oh, already so. happy to forfeit this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? No, no fuck it. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there now. I'm gonna change the culture of Millwall. I'm gonna take yes. all the racists out, all the homophobes out. I'm just gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna make Millwall. I'm gonna gentrify Millwall. That's what's gonna happen. Here. Okay. Gentrify well, Millwall. The One beauty part time. is, in FM23, they put in a supporter um feedback thing to see how well you're doing with supporters. Mm. Now it also tells you how much influence they have on the board. So I would imagine Millwall's is quite high. Yeah, um, the great is on the board as far as I know. So. However, you can do it. You can change. That's your challenge. Change, gentrify Millwall. Forget about where you are in the league. Can gentrify I... Millwall. <laughs> right? Gentrify <laughs> Millwall. That's it. There we go. That's the real challenge, lads. My challenge so, is to avoid relegation, if I'm all in all honesty. Like, right? well, look, we, we we both have our own unique challenges, and that's the that's the critical thing. But now we we've got our um we've got our cross of the bear. That's the main thing now. So let's see how we uh, how this pans out for both of us. So yeah, uh, okay. So I'm gonna boot up the manager here, and when we come back, you're gonna see us in action. Yeah. Um, okay. As you, as you can probably, if you if you've seen my page, um, mm -hmm. I am a football manager nerd. <laughs> so as you can imagine, all of my logos are the proper logos. Yes. Uh, I even have an AI picture of myself instead of the proper football manager 
um generated thing. So yeah, I am that much mm. of a nerd. I, um, I have not gone that route, I'll be honest. <laughs> <not> <laughs> yet. We'll get there. We'll we'll convert you yet. Yes, so I, exactly. I, I use an XML program to generate config files to make this work. That's how much nice. of a That's cool. Am. That's cool. Um, but, um, yeah, right. So we're in. Um yeah. I have taken over Swanview. So yes, you have. You've taken over Millwall. I not have, wanted, unfortunately. But... No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I am buzzing for this. This is the first online save we've done uh, for on, mm. on a episodic scale. So this should be good. Yes. Uh, right. Uh, the first thing, I suppose, is the tactical direction that I'm going to have to take. Yes. Um, which I'm not going to divorce, Jonathan, because that'd be silly. <laughs> uh, Obviously. Obviously. I'm not going to oh, divulge that information to. Them. No, that will be leave. that will be daft. Um, but you can see it on my screen, folks. If he decides to put it up there, you'll be able to see that. Yes, exactly. Um, I'll see it back at the end. I actually exactly. do the same way. So you can, yeah, yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah. Again, go by I'm by go. I'm going. I'm going by my notion yes. of uh, of trying to gentrify Millwall. So this is my my this is my premise, my concept, <laughs> and whether it works or not. Really doesn't matter to me because uh, <laughs> it's happening yeah, either way. Um, they do not have a fucking say in the matter. Um, I want to have a backup tactic that's a three five two because I quite like three five two, but I don't know whether it'll work. Oh for no, I, I I cannot fucking stand a three a back three. It just gets on my tits. So I'm gonna go for a, yeah, I'm gonna go for a backup of four three three, but it's not my my main formation. So this yes. is what you're looking at. And I'm gonna go for yeah. This is what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. As you can probably see, it's probably set up to play out the back, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Two wing backs, central defender, ball playing defender. I'm going for a typical 4 2 3 1 here. So I'm going for mm. a box to box midfielder who can kind of transition between defense and attack, a deep line playmaker who can play the ball out from the back, an yeah. attacking playmaker, an inverted winger, an inside forward, and an attacking forward. So Reason I've gone with this one is I've had a look at the different tactics that are on, um, I think it's FM Base or one of these websites. I kind of like mm. the look of this one. As you can see, it's called Swans Alona. Um, ironically, <laughs> uh, basically it, it is. It's actually called Swans Alona. My tactic. That's which hilarious. I downloaded yesterday, and um, for the winter update. So I've, got, I've gone with this one, which is from GYR because I think this will work right into the hands of Michael Obafemi. Hopefully. Mm. Just realized I still have Kyle Norton on the staff. <laughs> How old is Kyle Norton? That might be your first uh, point of order, I think, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Like his stats are all, he's only 33. I mean, he's probably worth he's probably worth it for the maybe even a rotation. Mm. Right back, I don't know. The center right. I suppose he'd be okay for a, a ball playing defender because what's his passing? Hmm. What is so I, I, I'm, com I'm coming in completely um blank in a sense because I do not know the Millwall team especially. So, I don't know any of the Swansea team apart from Open oh, to be honest. Yeah. So um, I'm uh I am now going to uh yeah, just see what I can do with this uh with these people. Yeah. So and realistically, like this kid is decent. Mm-hmm. So this could be one I could develop actually. Oh my god. Of... Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to see now what be Okay. The best you can do here. Okay, right. So what else can I what's is it? What else is in my inbox here? Supporter profile update. Hmm. Thanks. Ironic that the uh, wall has rainbow colors, <laughs> but you know, that's fine. You know, baby steps here, baby steps. Yeah. Supporter profile. What does it say? Yeah, let's have a look at the support profile. So I'll let you, you start. Got core. Says for yours. Core is what it's saying here. It's a moderate influence on the board, which is uh, a nice okay. way. I, I think it's a okay. delicate way of putting it. You know, decent, decent okay. uh, season ticket holders as well. All this sort of stuff. Okay. Right. Okay. I think mine is um my my supporters influence on the board is low, so I'm probably very mm. lucky with that. 
Um, they want a top half championship finish, which isn't out of the round possibility, depending on how we start. Yeah, uh, um, my guys, also, my, because they're asking for that as well. But they're they're looking for now. This is the interesting thing for me. My there seems to be the top priority for well, outside of like the financial stuff of like you know work within yeah. the budget and reputation, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Believe me, you need a lot of reputations. But uh, the same top priority seems to be the FA Cup because obviously oh, Millwall okay. has quite a lot of. Uh, uh, history in the FA Cup, so yeah, they have quite a, uh, an affinity with that. Yeah. yeah, um, it's they they it's very much a cup team in that sense. So uh, that might factor into what my I need to do in regards to uh, uh, to uh, how I set this team up. But I'm still yeah. I'm still working with what I want to do. So um, we shall see how so, it goes. It's funny my my supporter profile update. It's hilarious because the top, and I mean the top required. Uh, thing set out by the uh, fans is to finish above Cardiff in the league. Yeah, I which mean that's that. <laughs> they are what well, well, they are quite a quite a distinct uh, rivalry. So yeah, I think that's um. That yeah, checks out. I think that's funny that it actually gets that quite accurate. It's like finish above mm. our rivals. Yeah, okay. Which I think is uh, quite funny. Right, club vision and expectations. They want me to reach the playoffs for the twenty three to end of the twenty three twenty four season. That's the next season. Mm. They want me to require me of high importance to reach the playoffs. Yes. And they want to work towards gaining promotion to Premier League a season after that. Um by 25 26, they want me to win the Premier win promotions in Premier League and become self sustainable by mm. 26 27. Okay, that's I'm half tempted to negotiate this because they want a really big jump season after season. Yeah. And if I look at the club finances, they're 14 million in the bank. I have mm. a transfer budget of 260k, which is nothing. The championship, you're not going to get anything in that. Hang on, how, much, how much did you say you had? Uh, what, transfer budget? Yeah. 260k. Okay. That's all I have. And I have a wage budget of 244k. So I am, I have no finances, effectively. For a championship club, that is nothing. And they're already 66 yeah. grand in the red as far as the profit and loss goes. So <laughs> Apparently, according, yeah. to this, according to this, I got zero. <laughs> Good, no money. Yeah, so I mean, imagine if we had got a team further down the league with a worse financial situation. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's this true. is um, you know what? I'm just gonna accept it. Um, I can negotiate, but realistically, I'm gonna try and negotiate because mm. I can't negotiate down for that one. Yeah, which is annoying. Oh, for God's sake! Right, I can't actually, I can't actually negotiate down for this. I'm gonna have to confirm that as it is what it is. So mm-hmm. now I have to do the club vision meeting. So top half finish, reach the third round of the FA Cup. I'm not putting that to fourth round. Carabao Cup reach first round minimum. So basically, that can be achieved like straight away, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, injury update: Joe Allen's pulled hamstring. He's out for three weeks, two months. Cabango. Two to four weeks, and Liam Walsh shoes out for eight to nine months. Achilles tendon damage. Okay, mm. not a terrible, terrible thing. Uh, I have a current squad size of eighteen. I will be looking to the development center because I cannot sign anyone. Mm. I really can't. Um, that that might be the case for me as well. So, okay, let's see what we have. Right. All right. So social feeds. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so. All right, so what is, what's our old people saying here? <sighs> okay, yes, yeah, so do we want to do? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I have a monthly, tra- a monthly staff meeting. Interesting, I've gone for a weekly meeting. A weekly, I, I've gone for monthly. I don't like meet weekly meetings because they hmm. do my head in. So I've gone for monthly meetings instead, right? So they say mm-hmm. that Jay Fullerton, Jay Fulton would be a great choice for the vacant vice captain role. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I seem okay. to have one. I seem to have one player getting earmarked as a potential uh, star, being Tyler Bury, who I think I've actually heard. Okay. Of. Um. So yeah, that's someone I might want to, uh, keep an eye on. So that's cool. Um, he's playing in. He's oh. certainly playing in the position I'd like him to play, which is good. Um, so yeah, let's move on there. 
I see what you have. So. He's kind of about to find out. Okay. My assistant manager. Yeah, I forgot Paul Robinson. Paul Robinson is uh, the assistant manager for the under 21s. Um, but we can uh, add a meeting. Okay. So, because we tried to develop as we could have. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so, oh, I have a very promising young uh, striker, Kyle Joseph. Mm. He's on loan at Oxford United. I've been keeping an eye on him. Um, all right, look to improve our backroom staff. So, goalkeeping coach Simon Smith, he's got quite a high rating. So, does okay. this recommendation for a fitness coach? Okay, so what we have here, we have a few people being offered uh, them as well. So, uh, as we say, up for job. Hold on, hey, coach, immediate. Yeah, I'm hiring this guy. No, I'm not hiring this guy. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe <laughs> I can negotiate. No, no, no. Maybe I can negotiate the wage down. Hold on. He wants 2.1K a week. But I can only offer 1.8. I'm going to try my luck here. Oh, he's taking it. Fitness coach, a top one, has been hired. Yes. Well, the offer's been put in. Goalkeeping coach, Simon Smith. How is he with stopping? He's pretty decent, actually. It doesn't have a great level of discipline, but I don't really mind that. Mm. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm just kind of stuck up on uh, on staff myself here, actually, because there's quite a few <clears throat> missing in terms of the uh, in terms of the staff. We okay. Apparently, physio didn't want to take part. That's a shame. And do we have? No, I was actually hoping you'd be director of football. To be honest. Let's try that. Right. Um, a scout. Scouts are important. So Nick Hammond is director of football. Yeah, he's not interested. Well, fuck you. He's a terrible so. negotiator, so I'm not going to hire him. Mm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I could negotiate. The, if it, He's really good at judging player potential and player... Ability, but he's not great at negotiating, so I could probably take mm. over the contract negotiations. Let's hire him that anyway. It's the first sure. season. The second method, I don't like him anyway. Yeah. Group no. analyst. 16 and 16. Yep. That uh, works for yeah. me. All right, here we go. That's what, this is what I was looking for. So, uh, delegates. delegates These are delegates, delegates, recommendations. Delegates, delegates. Delegate. My budget. Are you delegating all of your things? I'm yeah, I'm I'm trying to get a the the staffing issue is not something I really care about. So that's sure. something I want. I would like to for some, uh, for some reason it's something I focus on early doors, but uh, that's just me. Yeah, no, I I get that. Um, but uh, that'd be something I would I'd rather not get upset uh, with, as it were. So you you are now delegating all of your. I'm delegating the staffing issues. So if they want to hire and staff come, coming in, go nuts. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. I'm going to wait till my director of football is hired before I do anything because mm. I'm no point, no point in delegating that until I have that director of football because I'm going to want him to take over some stuff anyway. However, mm. my media interviews will all be Matt Gill. Okay. Because I hate doing them, apart from the ones that we do. Um, and I believe that is something that you wanted to talk about, but we haven't actually talked about yet. That's true. Well, I think uh, we do have something in mind in that sense. But yes, mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, definitely something we can talk about. Okay. That I'm actually going to do one thing here and I'm going to move a young player up to up a rank to the move under over 18. Oh, okay. No, we have one guy lad here, Abdul, Abdul Malik, who okay. apparently is uh, not far from first level. So let's move him up a rank. And I think. How are you I mean, on friendly matches? Do you take part in friendly matches or do you delegate the system manager? Uh, I tend to delegate those ones. Um, no, nope, that's fine. I'm just making sure. That's me being it. lazy in, in fairness. But um, no, yeah, I, I think that's exactly what I do. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as scout meetings go, that's for you, Lee Mabry. Mm -hmm. No, I want a full knowledge scout. I don't want to scout for a week. I want a full knowledge scout. Every player we want to go ahead and scout. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Want to see if it's at all possible to actually sign some players, but not not going by this big zero I have in front of my on in front of my uh, transfer budget uh, 
Mark. So this will be interesting. <laughs> so yeah. love is going to be hard work on the fucking paint, lads. So let's see. Absolutely. Joe Cotterell looks really promising. Mm. They're all National League kind of standard at the minute. Uh, how am I doing for under 18s? Oh, oh, hello. Okay, Ian Morgan. There's one thing you'd say about Millwall actually is that they do seem to have a very good under 21 squad, and there's quite a few there that um, I'd hope to breed to bleed in whenever yeah. possible. Um, there's one here now that's potentially uh, four and a half stars, which uh, would be very, very nice indeed. You can get them up to that potential, yeah. That will certainly Absolutely. be my hope. Um, and again, ideally, it would be nice if uh, my under my staffers are uh, capable of doing that, which would be nice. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my loan manager in charge of outgoing development loans, which just means I don't have to worry about my young lads getting out and about. Mm. Right. Uh, so Lima is considering my offer. Well, considering my offer, that's good. Um, yeah, let's have a look at my staffing at the minute. Okay, so see more coaches, recruitment analyst. Yeah, my staffing is fine, however, I don't have many coaches for my under 21, so I'm going to replace an I'm going to place an ad. Who, who have I got on coach at the minute? Fitness coach, so I need an actual coach and a goalkeeping coach. So I need to place adverts for them too. So my under 21s are without one of those. So medical, yeah, we need a sports scientist under 21. Uh, under 18s are all right for the minute. Okay. Yeah, so. Hmm. Okay. My next match is a friendly against Sante on the twenty sixth day. That's fine. I think I'm I'm up against Telstar, which I think is a Romanian team. I think nice. Hmm. So here is Millwall, folks. Here is Jonathan's team, and his avatar actually looks like Jonathan. So fair play. I can, <laughs> I can never get mine to look like mine. Look, there's Jonathan right there. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so it's all it all it took was a bald head and a beard. Who knew that, uh, that could be easy? Um, there it is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's Jonathan's team. Yeah, they've got SC Tel in five days. They've got Dordre. They must be on a, a tour, I think. Mm. Uh, keep in Campion de Vise. Uh, uh, Dutch. So they must be on a oh, Dutch tour. Okay. They must be on a, yeah, they're on a Dutch tour. No wall, and then back to face Reading in thirty three days. I think the biggest thing for us has got to be injury management. If I'm absolutely honest, yeah, I I can see that happen that being the case. All right, uh, I can so. even look at his his supporter profile. <laughs> your legend is Teddy. Your legends are Teddy Sheringham, former player, yeah. Terry Herlock, and Barry Kitchener as mm -hmm. former players. Are the legends according to the. the the icons, Tim Cahill. How the hell does that work? Yeah, Tim Cahill went there before uh, ever, before he went to Everton, so that I mean, makes Everton, sense. It? Yeah, that makes yeah. yeah. Right, four, two, three, one, and the board and then board member. Yeah. Let's have a look at Jonathan Senior Squad. Let's take a wee peek at Jonathan Senior Squad just for the laugh. Have a look here. Who we've got? Again. You got Duncan Watmore. That's decent, actually. Yeah, like our front, our our front line isn't that bad. In fairness, I think the the you've real problem no, is... you've got no out and out striker. That's for sure. I mean, you've got no out and out like striker. You've got like mm. attacking forwards, but you've got no out and out striker, which isn't a bad thing. Depends if you're playing four two three one. That's not a bad thing. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> now, in fairness, like I don't mind that uh, myself. Like I'm happy to to. Like tactically, it yeah. suits me not to have one, so I'm not too worried about that because, uh, for me, the link up play is going to be more important. So, um, that's scouting your, scouting your big German forward, 
<laughs> you can fuck off um, for a start, but uh, yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm now scouting, scouting Jonathan's towering forward, not to buy mm. him, because I want to know how big that towering forward is. Yeah, because if he's a six foot four towering forward, then we're going to be in trouble. Swansea's defense isn't that strong. Yeah, well, that's the that will be the case. So, uh, oh yeah, oh we have here. Oh, Millwall, the first game against Millwall, folks, will take place on seventeenth of September, and we are away. So we are at the Den on the seventeenth mm. of September. So that's the first match between myself and Jonathan. Oh, mm. tasty, tasty. Yeah, what's this here? Okay. Right. Okay. I'm going to have a look because I am going to see if I can get okay. one of All my right. players. Who's he want to buy? Am I going to have a fight in my hands? He wanted on loan, but I kind of want to develop him myself. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, I'm going to put in an offer for Ethan Laidlaw. Hmm. Now, as far, actually, I'm going to scout him because I don't know what his value is. I hate going in blind to these. Right, so there's two potential strikers to have a look at. So I'm going to scout these two lads, Josh O'Connor and Ethan Laidlaw. Yeah. Um, for the moment, that's all. So discussion, okay. Uh, Ryan Manning uh, has something he wants to discuss with me. He's exploring his options. I don't want him to go. He's one of my Irish contingent, and he's really not <laughs> good. Okay, let's have our first discussion with Ryan Manning. This is not a good discussion I want to have. Right, so he wants to explore his options the end of contract when it expires. Um, I don't want him to leave. Oh my god. Right, what do I do here? Um yeah. is there an option to say what will keep you here? Because I don't want to lose. Um yeah, the chairman's worried, now I'm worried because he's probably one of my best players. Um Yeah, uh and resale value as well is another factor you want to throw in there yeah, as well. Yeah, apparently um, I said you're happy here, aren't you? And he's just said, I don't know who's been briefing you, but I'm not as happy here as you think. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ouch. All right. I uh, really wanted to pursue City Hub to do. Uh, my mind's made up on this. I'm done talking. Wow. Oh, okay. Um, He's basically just completely shot us down. So it looks like he's going to be discussing his options at the end of his contract. That didn't go <laughs> well. Uh, there was there was there was no there was no convincing him. So I love that you've already you already started to make friends there, Dave. That's a that's that's the main thing, isn't it? I haven't even met the squad yet. I hasn't even come up to the bloody squad. You know what I mean? Oh, great start, folks. To life at Swansea FC. Okay. Right. Code of conduct. Oh, here we go. This is fun. I'm just going to let the assistant manager deal with that. Yeah, same. I don't think there's any changes I needed there, so I think it's good. Yeah, let that go. Yeah. So we've already potentially lost one of our best players, which is great. Uh, Well, it seems that um, it doesn't seem that anyone in in my uh, team is looking to leave. I actually just was happy, uh, was able to remove uh, George Savile off the transfer list, and that didn't seem to make any uh, issues. (laughs) Now, okay, interesting. I've got two loan offers in for Abdul Abdul Malik. Let's now he's now. one you he is one you've you've tipped to be. Um, he, he is one that we I've been told yeah. I've been advised to make a big deal of. So okay. Okay. I think I'm going to allow a loan move to Carlisle. Um, that's good. Actually, that's not a bad show. He's leaked too. Yeah, he? I, the reason was I I um, uh, Carlisle being League Two and Exeter being League One, I think there's a more of a chance of him get game time. So yeah, I think that way he has a chance to to do it. So and Grimsby, uh, let's see, what's this that said to Ross? Okay. Um, no, that's the way. So work away. Uh, there's a loan offer. Oh, the loan offer doesn't matter. That's fair. Uh, okay. Oh, excellent. Yeah. I get to meet the players. 
Yeah, here we go. So I'll let you okay. do your first round, and I've got mine. I've already. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk a uh, mine part out. So it's like. Uh, <laughs> here we so, go. Switch I wanted to, to take the, the opportunity to introduce myself to you as the new Millwall manager. <laughs> okay. Right. So. Uh, all right. Boom. Okay, everyone seems to be happy enough. Slightly positive is what I'm getting here. Um, I don't want to make any promises, but let's discuss our expectations for the season ahead. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think we can finish in the top half of the season. Okay. And everyone was positive there. I was like... Uh, brilliant! That's just what I want to hear. Now, I also want us to give the FA Cup everything we've got. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, I have to say, I'm disappointed with that reaction. <laughs> okay, team leader says that sounds good to me. So Sean Hodgson is happy with this. I also appreciate your collective support and adherence to the Code of Conduct. Thank you very much. And Sean Hodgson says it all looks good to him. That's good. Now, uh, let's see. Let's see. Excellent. I won't be expecting any issues disciplinary action this season. Now, that's agreed. And that's it, right? I think everyone seems happy enough. No one's unhappy. So, and my uh, assistant manager has been described as expressionless. <laughs> apparently I've had an overall positive response actually the dressing room atmosphere has uh, moved up to excellent with that one so that seems to have gone well and in terms of my uh, injuries only one I have is a tight calf for George Evans so he'll be only out for a week so that's not too bad at all hmm. you've uh, you've moved yourself Dave there can't help but notice <laughs> <You're mute. laughs> there you go. I am unmuted now. Don't know why. I'll hey, there you go. To yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity now to introduce myself as go for new it. Swansea manager, and that's an agreeable response. Encouraged. Um, on behalf of the team, and well, look forward to playing under your management. Okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Do I look to make any changes? Uh, to be honest with you. I kind of want to make improvements, but I don't have the money to make improvements. Uh, I, I'm not making any promises. No, oh, great. I thought there would have been more promises made here today. Well, there mm. isn't because I've not got budget to take people. If I have to sell players and sell players. My players have got no money. So already <laughs> a bad reaction from Jamie Patterson. Oh, everyone, everyone else, everyone everyone else that side. is encouraged. Everyone else slightly positive, encouraged. So, um, mm. top half finish. They're sat all satisfied with that. Please, satisfied, fantastic. That's a target we can all get behind. Good. I'm going to pump my fists and positive that reaction. Um, <laughs> just, just to try and get these players on my side. I'm already off to a bad start. Come um, on! <laughs> and I'll also be, I'll also be looking to make, and yeah, expect to make good account of myself in the FA Cup. Sounds good to me. Good. Again, pumping my damn fists. Exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Code of conduct. I'm going to outstretch my arms. Thank you, lads. Why is, there, why is Nathan Wood had a negative response to me outstretching? I'm trying to be positive here, Nathan. <laughs> Honestly, I, I mean, all of my player morales have gone up. That's good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's a good boost to morale. Happy with the expectations. Yeah. Dressing room atmosphere has gone up to very good, so I will take that. Hmm. Um, I obviously know my three injuries. That's fine. Um. So the the team with the highest amount of injuries at the minute is Blackpool with seven. Oof. Oof. That's nasty. That's yeah. Liverpool levels of injuries. You know, if you go into the if you go into where it says your injury update, and you go to view injury table. It gives you a list of injuries from across all of the other clubs. Ah. Um, which is quite handy because if you find a club with a weak area, you can exploit that and whatever type. That's of true, yeah. Actually, Jesus, so, um, that's um, Sheffield United are quite bad. Actually, they're all all theirs are long term. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sheffield United that's... are into the months for each player. 
Mm. Uh, I think he made a dodge a bullet with that one, in fairness, both uh, both clubs wise. So, um, yeah. yeah, okay, all right, let's crack on. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm now going to meet the, the media, apparently. Yep, yep, you go ahead and let me know when you are finished. So, the EFL Championship financial play, oh, financial fair play, right? We have to take it seriously because the EFL, not the Premier League. Um, teams with avoid making a loss of 15 million. Okay, starting off the uh, starting off this uh, press conference. The first question Go from for Lola it. Algar from BBC London ninety four point nine. So, question is, uh, how does it feel to be the new Millwall manager? <laughs> Not to be honest, um, <laughs> smile warmly and say, uh, "I hope to be here for a long time. Got a lot of work to do, but patience will be rewarded." Hello, Brooke now from the football uh, league uh, paper. Was there something about Millwall in particular that made you sit up and pay attention? Um, the club wants to grow, and so do I. We fit each other perfectly. <laughs> that sounds a lot uh, better than I'm here against my will, and I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I wanted to do it that way. So, what made you sure this was the right mm-hmm. job? Um, so, um, let's see, what can we go for here? Hmm. I'm not going to come out here and say that I think this is an easy job, but it's one I want to take and one I intend to be successful in. What do you think of the Millwall squad? Asked Chris Thomas of the Daily Mirror. And I go, hmm. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to work with the team to be absolutely sure, but I see no reason why we can't achieve great things to this group of players. Charlie Fry's Daily Star. Yeah. If you've if you've met the players already, what has their been, reaction been to your appointment? Positive. From what I've seen, there's a real hunger from everyone to show what they can do. And again, Oliver Brook, again, for the Football League paper. I don't know why he's getting three questions. What role can the supporters play in moving this club forward? Uh, don't be racist for a start. Um, so, <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that would be my kind of thing. That um, one's for you, Millwall fans. I'm looking at exactly. you. Exactly. Um, let's see. I'm all about a united approach, and I need to bring everyone together for the future of this club. Yeah, Absolutely. And, Joe Sackle from 442. Can you talk about the club's potential and where you'd like to take the team? Let's see. It's important not to get ahead of ourselves. If we focus on doing the little things right in the short term, we put the foundations in place for a prosperous future. Uh, Chris Simpson from London. What's your approach on the training ground? Uh, let's see. We need to work hard. Pure and simple. Uh, Claire Wilding from Own Football is Billy Mitchell the sort of player you look to build around Billy, Billy Mitchell Billy Mitchell <laughs> very good who the hell is Billy Mitchell in, fa- in fairness I know the poten- I know the potential he has within him and I'll definitely be working to help him reach it is Sean is uh, Charlie Price and Daily Star is Sean Hutchinson going to keep the armbands I've heard only, I've only heard good things about Sean. He will remain my captain for the foreseeable future. And continue the summary. And everyone's indifferent. Fantastic. That's Fantastic. great. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> All right. Let's get into right. uh let's get into Swansea's first press conference. So we have Mark Tierney from Sporting Life. Uh, with the first question. Um how excited is Swansea's new manager? Um I'll smile warmly. It's a challenging environment, but one one I really wanted to work in. It is. It's a challenging. It's going to be a challenging environment. Uh, right. Who have we got next? Got Bob Goddard from Sky Sports News. Was there something about Swansea in particular that made you sit up and pay attention? Um, I mean they've got a good past. Um. I think the past for me is, is important when Brendan Rodgers took them to the Premiership and mm. been there before so they could be there again. Um, so I suppose it could be a special club for us. Here's to us that you'd be more suited to a cerebral approach to the game, a suit and tie style of management rather than traction. Do you agree with that? Absolutely not. Um, no, I am not a 
tracksuit. I'm not a suit style, suit and tie style, no way. Um, yep, I don't think it matters much, really very much what I wear. Um, or what connotations that may have. The results arrive, then I can wear whatever the hell I like. There you go. That was my answer to that. So Chris Beasley from Talksport. How much work do you think is needed to bring the squad up to standard? Uh, mm, I intend to give everyone ample opportunity to show what they can do. It's a talent squad, which it is. I think they'll show me that. That's all I can answer to that. Claire Wilding from One Football. Have you been able to talk to players about your plans for the future yet? Um, no, actually. Don't really have any plans just yet until I really get to grips with everything. So it's a new dawn for the club and the players want to impress me and show me what they're capable of, which is true. Do you have a message for Swansea fans? Yeah, I need to earn their trust. That's just the bottom line. I can't expect a warm arrival straight away. What is your opinion for the potential long-term success of Swansea? Uh, yeah, as far as the performances allow. Uh, how do you go about your day to day work on the training ground? Yeah, hard work, and we need to be prepared to suffer for our rewards. That's just, yep. Uh, no, actually, I expect a certain level of effort, commitment from every player, every coach, and every employee at the club. That's how we'll improve. Um, okay, so the press conference atmosphere is up to positive. From that response, so that's a good thing. Uh, how valuable is a young and dynamic star like Morgan Whitaker for you to build the future of this team around? I've actually previously just had a look at him before starting this press conference, and I think he is a player with the potential to build around, but I've not seen, yeah, he knows what I want from him, and he's already shown that he's up to the challenge. Let's see if he does that. Have you decided if Matt Grimes will be our captain? Um, well, with respect to Matt, it's up for grabs. Uh, it's up for grabs if a new leader emerges uh, with respect to him because I really don't know <laughs> excuse me so what position do you feel the squad could do with strengthening in um, I would probably say I need a few more centre backs or probably defensive centre I'd be looking to improve on so encourage they're all relationship is no relationship with me um Encouraged, though. Encouraged, which is good. So I've left that press conference pretty happy with that. Good stuff. 